Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Kevin Jones and this is the Beginning Hunter video series here on YouTube. Uh, today's video we're going to be discussing a lot of the costs associated with hunting. Um, it's not a free sport. Um, I, I actually found even call it a sport. Um, it's not a free uh, process to engage in. Uh, there is um, a lot of fees that are associated with um, actually getting the permits and the tags and the license to um, pursue game in uh, at least the United States and tonight we're going to be um, discussing a little bit of that. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife big game hunting regulations. This is obviously for 2018. Every single year um, Oregon and every other state release their big game regulations um, that discuss what the rules are and the fees and everything associated with it. So this can be found online. You can go to any um, store, at least in Oregon, that sells hunting licenses. Um, you should be able to do it in your home state if you're trying to replicate this same procedure and process there. Um, and they too will discuss what the costs are. Um, so this will be pretty easy. We're gonna be discussing this. So we are going to just shoot down, I think it's like the fourth or fifth page here. All right past these, tag, license, and permit fees. So there's a variety of different ways. We're just gonna dive right into this. Um, it's pretty simple, but we're gonna try to break this down as much as we can. Right here, how to buy license tags or permits. You can buy them online. You can buy them at a point of sale license agent. Here it's, you know, like um, um, sporting goods stores and stuff like that. You can buy them at um, Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife offices, at least the ones that sell licenses. There are some that don't, so be aware of that. Or you can send your request in by mail or fax. Um, in the regulations they have a form or at least on here you can download a PDF and get the form and hand fill in that if that is what you would like to do um, but we're just gonna jump over here they have it broken down if you are a senior or pioneer resident they have your fees over here for your license and tags so before you can actually get your tag you always have to buy a license purchasing a license allows you to apply for hunts things like that um, once you are successful, say you are successful at drawing one of those hunts, that is when you have to go buy a tag. Same thing with youth. With youth, there is a license, excuse me, there is a license of uh, $10 for 12 to 17 year olds. And then you can also do things like buy sports packs, stuff like that, but we won't get into that on this video. Um, over here for big game license and tags, this is what most of you are going to be looking at. So if I live in Oregon, which I do, my hunting license, so you can see broken down by license right here, and tags right here. So if I'm a resident, that means I live in Oregon, for my hunting license, it's $33.50. So that's what I shell out just to get into the game. That is the cost of entry for hunting in Oregon. Um, that is like, if, you, if you're into poker, that's like just to get into the buy. That's just, just price of entry. If you're a non-resident, if, if you do not reside in Oregon, I think it's six months out of the year, this is what you're going to be looking at, 167 bucks for a non-resident um, hunting license. When you look down here, you can also get combination of angling and hunting license, at least for a resident, which is me, 69 bucks, non-resident, they don't offer it. Okay, so now, for me, I bought my $33.50 hunting license to allow me to pursue game, or at least have the opportunity to apply and things like that. So I was successful this year in, a, in receiving some of my tags that I put in for. So that means that the state of Oregon is going to allow me to pursue game with a, uh, with a certain uh, tag this year. So let's look down here for tags. For black bear, if you want to hunt black bear in Oregon, it doesn't matter if you're a resident or a non-resident, $16. $16. Super affordable. I always have a black bear tag in my pocket whenever I step out into the field here in Oregon. Um, and that's actually provided me um, two harvests of black bear. Not really ever anticipating seeing black bear because that's not why I'm in the backwoods and in the, in the, um, the wilderness, but that's always good to have one of those because you just never know. They don't expect to see you and I never expect to see them, but um, the two times that I have seen them, that black bear tag for $16 has been very valuable to me. There's something that's called an additional bear tag that um, the state of Oregon offers. I think it's a Southwest... Um, hunt so you have to hunt in like the southwest region of Oregon to pursue one of those most of you aren't going to be pursuing that So um, we can just move on a cougar tag $16 same thing. I always buy a cougar tag whenever I go 
and do any hunting here in Oregon. So I always have a blackberry tag and a cougar tag in my pocket when I'm out chasing deer or elk or what have I. Um, it's just, it's for 16 bucks. I don't want to be the guy because I, the way I look at it, the one year I don't buy that $16 black bear or cougar tag is the one year that I'm going to see black bear everywhere and cougar on every ridge um, because I can't shoot them. So I don't want to do that. So I was getting both of those, black bear and a cougar. So as you can see, they split it up here. So for deer, as a resident, I spend $27.50 for my tag. If you're a non-resident, you're forking out $430.50 to chase deer in Oregon if you don't live here six months out of the year. We're going to run on down for elk. I spend $48 as a resident. A non-resident would spend $571. Um, for bighorn sheep, I would spend $138. A non-resident would spend a whole lot more than that, $1,469.50. Because ODFW needs that extra $0.50 cents right there. Um, so for pronghorn or antelope, I spend $50. A non-resident, $384. And lastly, Rocky Mountain goat. Um, I spend $138, a non-resident $1,469, and again, that extra 50 cents because ODFW needs it. So that is um, roughly, um, this is not, um, this doesn't include things like if you want to chase um, birds, if you want to go duck hunting, if you want to go pheasant, goose, whatever, um, that's a whole separate regulation through the state of Oregon, but this is just for um, big game. There's a couple other things down here to consider too. If I lose my license uh, or like my tag or something like that and I need them to print me out another copy, it's a really expensive copy for them to print out, $25.50. <clears throat> so that's not what I want to have to shell out. So I always try to keep track of mine because I don't want to be the guy to have to fork out an extra and unnecessary $25.50. There's things like a wildlife area parking permits which there are certain areas in Oregon that require you to have a parking permit if you're parking a wildlife area. So an annual one or a daily one, depending on what you want to do. If I want to change my controlled hunt application, um, it's $25. Um, if I want to apply, so again, the, the change fee is um, after, um, I th actually, it says down here, if you decide to change your controlled hunt application after you apply, there is no charge for the first change for each controlled hunt series. A $25 fee is assessed for each subsequent application change to the same hunt series. Long story short, ODFW does not want you going in and changing all of your stuff because it takes them longer to try to figure out what you want. And, um, and by the time you go in and actually start applying for things, you should know very well what you want to go in for. So keep that in mind. Um, for me to apply for a hunt, it's $8. So what that means is after I buy my hunting license, again, up at the top for $33.50, um, if I, this year what I did is I applied for elk. Um, I wanted to hunt elk, so I applied for a chance to hunt elk in Oregon. That, by me applying, that application cost me $8 for elk. I did the same thing for deer. I wanted to hunt deer in Oregon. That application cost me $8 for deer. Bighorn sheep. I wanted to hunt bighorn sheep, cost me $8 to apply for the chance to hunt. It's not a guarantee, but it's just you putting your name in the big, um, in the big hat for the state of Oregon to dip their hand in there and pull out the winning, you know, the, the winning person. And I wanted that to be me. So I put in for elk, deer, bighorn sheep, antelope, and Rocky Mountain goat. So every time I did that, it's eight bucks. So, but this year, it really worked out. I got, um, I got two deer tags, and I got an antelope tag. So by, if I hadn't applied, I wouldn't have been able to get any of those through a controlled hunt. So keep that in mind. Um, let's see. Non-motorized boats. I don't have a boat. I never have to spend $7 for an invasive species prevention permit. And, um, yeah. So just, uh, again, that was a really brief overview. The big game license and tags. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or contract, contact ODFW directly. Um, the interactions I've had with them, most of them have been really good. I lied if I said they were all good, um, but it's a government-run agency doing their best. Um, and, uh, and, yeah, so kind of get what you get. Um, yeah, so that's it. That is the license tag permit fees, kind of the costs associated with getting into hunting here in Oregon. And... Um, yeah, that's it for tonight. So again, my name is Kevin Jones, and this is the Beginning Hunter video series here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, do all that kind of jazz, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.